friends. So, um, as promised, I am going to do a video using my new, I already did one video last month using my She Art line, and I made a canvas that had a house on it, but this time I'm going to do one that has the girl on it, so you can see both. Um, I wanted to show you a couple things first, though, that I have that go with this line that we have in the store that maybe you might be interested in that kind of go with it. First of all, we just brought into the store these artist panel um, series they are um, like a wood and it's got um, a, a t canvas texture on the top of the wood so I thought these were kind of cool I wanted to try them out so we brought those in um, and they come in these three different sizes and I'm actually going to be using one today I'm excited about that we also have Besides the She Art line from Pink Paisley, which by the way, I just found out that all of this product is sold out from Pink Paisley. They don't have any more left. So whatever, um, so I can't get any more. So what I have, I actually bought a whole bunch more of these rub-ons and these, I bought all that they had left and the tissue paper um, and everything else. And they're not doing another run on them. So whatever we have in the store today on the sale, that is what we have. and. I do have another shipment of these and these um, coming and they should be middle of week so we'll probably just include them in the sale so you're so if you order them they might be your order might ship like Thursday or Friday just because the, we want to include these so you can get them on sale um, but this is it this is all we have and so who if you find them online that's all that store has they're not doing anymore um, which is crazy I'm like really these rub-ons I could use them for three years and they still wouldn't go old so I bought so many of them we got a ton um, also, um, we have, of course, my She Art line with the pink, or with Unity, and we have the doodle stamps and tons of texture stamps. Um, my favorite stamps, these totally go with this. I love them. Those are going to be on sale today as well, too. Um, and I have some new stamps coming out in like three weeks, I think, with them. Um, new texture stamps and some new stamps for this living, uh, your living color, your living canvas workshop. We also have in the store, like I said, the new favorite Castell packs. So these are an exclusive pack that we brought in. This is the Brights one. There is neutrals and Brights two. This is a brand new pack that we just brought in, um, and this also matches this line. It's different than the pens that are included in this line. So they're just even more colors of my favorite colors. And these two I think are out of stock right now, but we do have them coming in. We're just waiting for this green. All of these other ones are in, but this green pen isn't in, so we can't put them on until the green pen gets here to be able to put them on. So it kind of stinks that way. Um, and then we just bought, brought in this week exclusive paint packs too. Um, when I was at CHA, um, Mally, who is my kind of go girl with um, deco art Americana, she, she supplies um, me with Mod Podge and helps me with all sorts of classes and stuff. She brought me over these paints and she's like, these paints totally match your CR line. And I actually use them to demo with and I was in love with them because first of all, Americana is such a great paint, but also because the colors did, they matched perfectly. So there are two packs. There is a... Um, she art pack that com that matches the line exactly and then there's a second pack and these are actually the ones I always like you see me using so many times this green I use it constantly um, I use this purple all the time this tangelo orange this is like my favorite 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 orange I use it constantly on projects so I wanted to do a second pack that they don't necessarily match the she art line but they are my favorite paints that I go to and you'll see if you've watched my max past mixed media kits or anything I use these constantly so that being said that is what is in the store right now today on the she art cell if you're watching this after um, April 28th they're not on sale anymore but um, if you're watching it today, then they are, but the, we still carry all this stuff in the store and hopefully we still have these. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to dump all these paints out. Just kind of set them up here because I will be using them. And all of this is in, there's a special section on our site that says Christy Tomlinson Designs. All of those are in the Christy Tomlinson Design section. So... I just got this cute little, I love keeping my stuff in things like 
I bought these baskets and they hold them too, but I just got this at TJ Maxx. It was um, like five bucks. And I thought, well, this one's gonna be for the ones that exclusively match my sheer line, because then I know that they match them. So, there you go. And then I can just close the lid on them and take them with me when I go places. Cute, huh? And like I said, $5.99, TJ Maxx. Love, love, love. So, don't need these. Well, the screen I will use, probably, and this red. And then, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. So this is the line. We've got the stamps, we've got the tissue paper, love the tissue paper, um, the paper, which right now I think we're out of stock on. They didn't even have any more. They are reprinting the paper June 6th. We should get some more of this in, but I don't even think we have it in the stock. Um, the die cuts, which I'm like, oh, you're kidding me because the die cuts are so great to teach with. They're so great for people who are just starting out and can't make their own she girls or make their own houses. They are so fast for making gifts and ah, oh, we need more of these. And then, of course, the uh, mask that I use constantly. So, I'll probably link in this video, the last video that shows how to do the house, too, just so it's easier. So, okay. I'm going to spend all day opening those. I'll just open them as I use them. So, the first thing I want to do is cover the canvas, of course. I'm so excited to use this wood panel. These are under the canvas section in our store and I think I'm going to use a mixture of tissue paper and paper actually and there's a girl that's included in here so this is what she's going to use so I'm going to be careful that whatever I put on the background doesn't compete with all of this so I, I want to I'm I wouldn't use this paper and I probably wouldn't use those three paper those four papers that are on here too just so you keep that in mind so use. I kind of have an idea. Let's see if this works. Mm. Well, let's just try that for now. We need more stuff. We can bring more stuff in. Not that one. Okay, this is dry, so I'm going to start adding some texture to it, and actually I'm going to wait on that. So I was going to put bottling paste on it, which I am, but then I have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to add some other things first. I'm going to stamp on it, and this is the She Words stamp. need some paint on it, but I think I'm going to add Stencil, see that? Super cute. That is the mini peekaboo, and actually, all right. I'm going to use some um, Liquitex inks and add some texture and color to this background, and I'm going to put this in fast forward mode while I do that.
So now, let's put on the modeling paste part of it. And what did I do? Most gracious, some and stuff. There it is. All right. Let's actually put it right here. I'm just gonna go right like that with my fingers because I'm too lazy to grab one of these, which now I'm going to. And then let's mix in it's red, orange, perial red. Let's mix in a red. Actually, I want to I want to do that purple. So let's put a little bit of purple in there. Whoa! You don't want to add too much paint because that waters down the modeling paste, but oh well, it is what it is. All right, now let's put this on here. And I'm not going to do it too thick because we're going to be putting a body over this, so. Keeping it kind of thin around the edges down here where we're going to place, but it can get thicker on the sides. Oh, I love it. So cute. All right, now to clean off the fingers. I actually got some more paste, so we might as well add some cool texture other places, right? That's kind of cute. What else could we do? Let's use this one. Okay. I need to dry this and then we will start putting on our girl. So let me dry this and come back. Okay. I want to add one more. I love this ledger piece. I want to add it to here. But I think instead of modeling paste, I'm just going to put it on with, with uh, paint. I just love the look of it. So we're going to use the blue. Actually, let's use the other blue. didn't come out as clean as I wanted it to because my brush was wet. So we're going to do that again, actually. Let's, let's use it down here. This time I'm getting a very dry brush. Very, very dry. That's why I like mis mixing modeling paste in with the the paint to use stencils because it always just comes out so great because the modeling paste is so thick. Much better. Look how cute that is. Love it. Let's add our girl. So this is super easy. The canvas is ready for us to put stuff on. Love all the texture behind it. Super cute. So all you need to do is punch her out. Seriously, so easy. This is why it was designed to do this because so, so easy. And we'll add some flowers and stuff in a minute, but all we need to do is add some decoupage. And I don't think I want her clear down here, so I'm going to have to put feet on her, but that's not a big deal. 
All right. So now we have her on here, and obviously this she isn't designed just to stick on here, and then we're like, oh, look, the canvas is done. We, we need to add more stuff. So, and actually, I kind of want to do some flowers down in here. Okay, so I can start shading her even though this stuff is not. So that's where these pens that I talked to you about come into play. They are, and if you watch any of my other videos, you already know this, but I'm just saying this for people that have it. They are um, an Indian ink. They are permanent, but once you have Mod Podge over something, it, they stay wet long enough for you to move them around, and then once they dry, they're permanent, which is a really cool feature. Other markets, like Hopic markets, markers are not permanent, so this is... A cool feature. So all of these pens match the girls and everything in this line. So basically the idea is that you're just going to shade all of it. And I shade color on color because when you start to shade, like you can already see the difference. See the difference between that and that? This makes it look like it's into the canvas, part of the canvas, and adding, and adding texture to it is going to do that as well. If we just leave her on here, it just looks like it was paper put onto the canvas. So. And I am not picky about the shading either. Whatever, if it gets on the sides, I'm totally fine with it. This is the ivory, by the way. Comes in the neutral pack. We also want to shade these um, these down here, but we want to add some more texture to her. So I'm going to get out my pad again, my ink pad. stamp right on top of that modeling paste. Alrighty. And this modeling paste is dry, so I'm going to actually go over it. Or, well, let's just use the blue chiffon. I'm just going to kind of highlight it here and there. Just give it a little bit, a little bit of paint to her skirt. I'm going to use that festive green I was talking about. Alright, so the final thing for us to do is to um, shade these flowers that we put on down here. I'm going to add a little bit of more paint too. And then add rub-ons to the girl. We're going to add some rub-on stitches and some texture rub-ons and then we should be done with this canvas. So let's get going.
And then the last thing we need to do is put a coat of Mod Podge over all the rub ons because they could come off. So. And she's done. She's a cutie. I like her a lot. And that's it. And then we have a cute little canvas that seriously, I mean, the actual canvas didn't take us that long. And having that girl done and the flowers done just pop right on there. So you can do canvas, you can do um, houses, you can add butterflies. Oh, we need words on her. You could do, you know, suns, whatever. We gotta do a house, sorry. We're not finished. Okay, gotta dry that. Um, we gotta add, see what we did? We add the words on there. But we gotta dry it and doodle around it. And paint, add some shading to it to kind of give it a color. That's what this ivory is perfect for. That and this, um, this warm gray is great around white because brown almost just makes it look dirty and I don't necessarily like the dirty look. One thing that people I do see them a lot in class when I'm teaching is they do they add texture to everything and then they put the words on and they don't shade or texture the words and the words you want you want them to look like they're part of the canvas too so you know keep that in mind I'm gonna shade now that we put some Mod Podge over this modeling paste we can actually shade some areas of the modeling paste too which is kind of nice and. I think I want a red border up here, so I'm going to paint. Where I went in with the doodle. See how I put the doodle rub on in? And then I can go in and fill it in and it looks like there's a red scallop on there. And they're transparent so you can still see the rub on in underneath it. Yeah, I like that. stop or else I will keep going I always do anyways so fun little canvas using the she art stuff um if it's April 28th or no the 30th April 30th and May 1st I believe those are the two days of next Monday and Tuesday we are doing a two-day sale all of this stuff is on sale along with the unity stamps and the pens and the paints are on sale everything that's she art related is on sale and look how fun the sides of that the wood don't forget about the wood so thanks for joining me Hope you enjoyed her and again these are the last what we have is what we have so make sure you get everything that you want because this will be the last time that we bring it into the shop once it's out it's out so have an awesome day and have fun getting messy <laughs>